Growing up as a 90s kid, I saw many good shows. My favorite being the shows that you could sit down and watch with your entire family. Occasionally, of course, some episodes had tougher subject matters, but for the most part, everyone could take part. I even loved watching reruns of shows like I Love Lucy and Happy Days. These were the days where if someone wanted to watch something edgy or more adult, then they would have to watch it after the kiddos went to bed. But times have changed. In today's world, adult content is the majority and finding family friendly things are in the minority. If you want to find something that's not for a five year old, then most of the time you're going to have to make concessions. With all that being said, my name is Steve and welcome to LTS, where today we discuss sex, the god of Hollywood. The thing that prompted me to make this video was when I read that the new Lord of the Rings TV show that Amazon is currently working on, according to Christian headlines, state that the show is going to have nude scenes and sexual situations. In fact, it was also reported that the message to any actor that may be casted on this show is that they have to be comfortable with nudity. They even gone as far as to hire an intimacy coordinator. Now, you may be wondering, Steve, why does this matter? Well, for one, anyone that knows the Lord of the Rings series, they know that nudity and sexual situations are far from the norm in these stories. In fact, in the 2012 Hobbit movie series, they had to actually create and add on a female character character because there were no females in that story. And even when the Lord of the Ring had female characters, the story was still about the journey or the wars or the friendships or the history. And most importantly, making it through together, which has allowed the series to be open to many audiences. But now it seems like they're trying to turn this property into a Game of Thrones rather than actual Lord of the Rings story. And my concern would be, what's next? The Chronicles of Narnia? This is just one example of the growing trend where sex is taking center stage in movies and shows over good storytelling. It's amazing to think that back when the movie It's a Wonderful Life was being created, that George couldn't even say that his wife was pregnant. You're, 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 you're... No, you, you on the nest? George Bailey Lasso Stork. This really points to the fact of how things have changed. Pushing the envelope to get us to this point has been going on for decades. A good example of this is in the 80s TV show, Who's the Boss? There's an episode where the housekeeper Tony walks in on Angela, who just so happens to be coming out of the bathtub. Now, since this was on prime time, nudity wasn't allowed, and even though I don't agree with it, they could have edited the scene to where it merely looked like Tony saw her naked without the actress having to actually be naked but no in an interview later on with Judith Light she admits that she was in fact asked if she would appear nude in this scene which she agreed to. As the years have gone on I remember more and more shows popping up that will continue to push the envelope. And then shows would pop up where they didn't even show anything, but they would always allude to the fact that characters were having premarital sex. Many of these characters were not in serious relationships, so the partner of the character would often change week to week. And then shows like Melrose Place came on the scene where people having sex was a weekly event and they kept pushing how much they could show. The big show in recent years that seems to have 
become synonymous with nudity is Game of Thrones. I've been told by countless people that it's a great show, and I'm sure that it has a great storyline, except for the last season apparently. But I have not personally watched this show because of the extreme nudity that the show contains. I read in a sci-fi article that a director on the show stated that an executive came to him and said, I represent the pervert side of the audience, okay? Everybody else is the serious drama side, but I represent the perv side of the audience. And I am saying I want full frontal nudity in this scene, so you go ahead and do it. Which, if we think about it, this shouldn't even be allowed, because if I or anyone walked up to a lady and told her that I wanted to see what the executive wanted to see, I would probably get slapped in the face which I would deserve for making such a request. But it's amazing that for Hollywood executives, it's no issue. And the honest truth is that for me, it was getting to a place where I literally was only watching cartoon shows. And I was actually about to cancel my subscription to Netflix and other services because everything that they were promoting that looked good, most of them would have heavy or at least some nudity and sex scenes. This all changed when I found Korean dramas. Now granted, I've not seen every Korean drama, but the ones that I have seen do not have inappropriate nude scenes. And in some of the shows, it's even taboo to even look like you're doing something inappropriate. But I digress. When it comes to nude scenes, I don't watch nude scenes, not because I don't get tempted to watch, but because I don't have the right to look at them in that way. Only their spouses have that right. These nude scenes are being presented to us for one reason only, and that's to incite lustful thinking. Because let's be honest, if you're watching a nude scene, no one thinking wow this person is talented or wow this is really pushing the story along this is amazing this is a cliffhanger are you out of your mind and i'm not saying that everyone who watches nude scenes that they're looking at the person on screen lustfully but the temptation to look at them lustfully is there and this is all a part of the long game attack from the enemy because lust is a sin that is mentioned in the scriptures matthew chapter 5 verses 28 it states but i say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart, which the Bible later on says has an eternal cost. It states in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 9 through 10, or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. You see, sex is a holy institution created by God for marriage, where a husband can enjoy his wife and a wife can enjoy her husband. It's not so that it could be shamelessly displayed on the big screen or small screen. I call this video Sex the God of Hollywood, but I really should call this video Perversion of Sex. Because most of the time, the sex being displayed on screen is not within the confines of a marriage. And because of this perversion, it doesn't surprise me when I hear all the people that are coming out of the woodwork with allegations of sexual abuse on big time Hollywood tycoons because if this is what's being presented to us, the audience, just imagine what's happening behind the scenes. And let's say there's no inappropriate behavior going on. I can still imagine some actors will be desperate to 
find roles that they'll take on roles that would have them doing things that they never in a million years would do which shouldn't be happening at the end of the day nudity is a private matter and sex was made for the marriage bed and it's a shame that these two things have been brought to the big screen small screen in music videos and magazines it's a shame that in today's world that at a click of a button you can find a picture of almost any actor or actress nude or almost nude all because to get into this industry many at one time or another had to reveal that part of themselves to get ahead and the fact of the matter is that no one should have to be nude or almost nude or act out a sexual scene or be objectified just to get a role and the fact that this isn't being talked about more surprises me my message to everyone who has been hurt by this industry and also for anyone who is trying to get into this industry is that you are more than the sum of your body parts you are a person created in the image of almighty god and that should always be treasured and valued and with that being said we come to the end of another video if you like this video and channel please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button you can also follow me on my instagram and until next time i pray god's blessing on you and that you'll always seek him first